Thank you very much. Wow, man. Welcome. The price is fixed here. It's different than the other store to bargain, to hang it for the price. We don't like this kind of business. It's Egypt. Khan El Khalili is the biggest and most known market of Egypt and Cairo. I can't think you visiting this city without coming to Khan El Khalili. You can find everything from gold, typical oriental souvenirs, herbs and spices, nargiles and hookahs. There is everything you may want. Now, it's also a really touristic area, so not all the shops sell quality items. Some others try to overcharge you. In this video, I'll try to give you an overview of Khan El Khalili and I'll show you some of the best shops and bazaar that sell unique pieces that really stand out. If you come to visit Khan El Khalili, your taxi will probably drop you off in this square where you can admire the Hal Hussein Mosque. This mosque is considered to be one of the holiest Islamic sites in the world. It's a marvelous buildings with incredible carvings and arabesque patterns. So, from the main square, we go down this road. How are you, sir? Have very you? good. How are you? I'm fine for you. See, good man. Thank you. From? Thank you very much. Italia. Oh, ciao. Ciao, Italia ciao. Italia is the best country for, for Egypt. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Backgammon is called Tawla here, and it's really, really popular. And look how beautiful these are. 40, 50. 450. It's like 30 dollars. What's the what's the material on top? Mother pearl? It's mother pearl, yes? And mahogany wood. So this is really, I'm gonna show you inside. It's really typical in Egypt. You also find this kind of boxes made with mother pearl. And these are nice actually. So you can get this one and put inside jewels or rings. So it's a really quality idea. I prefer that compared to this. More, uh, you know, belly dance costumes. If you guys, if you're taking belly dance lessons, what better place than here? <laughs> oh, wow. Western country is becoming often more popular for ladies to take belly dance courses. So here I'm pretty sure you can find anything you need. Don't know much about it, but let me know. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, it's very kind. It's a touristic area, so some people are really polite and nice. Some others, they just try to take advantage of you. And it's really important that you know how to say no. But like places like this, you can see right away. They have quality, natural leather. And yes, wow, yep. Proper leather. So you can find quality, but you have to look for it. I'm not sure the price is written. I really like these boxes. They feel like the 50s movies, you know? And these have some pharaonic theme. Bracelets. I'm, I may get one bracelet, what do you think? These bracelets are for 250 Egyptian pounds, which is like uh, $20, something like that, a bit less than $20. Okay, let me choose one, and then we see if this gentleman makes us the discount. What you guys think? This gentleman say, I'm very good with that. Yes. 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 If you want to save some money and get the respect of the seller, in Egypt you should always bargain. Now, this gentleman was very tight, he didn't want it to go down with his price, so I used the pro technique that my father taught me. I just gave him less, less money and see his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> and he accepted. By the way, the leather in the shop is really quality. Dealing with this gentleman was a pleasure. So if you're in Khan Khalili, go check it out. Thank you. Oops, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really like this bracelet. 
I like how it smells and quality. Oh yeah, they have another extension here. And a beautiful cat. One of the main complaints of tourists visiting Egypt are the aggressive doubts. No doubt they can be pretty annoying, some of them even aggressive. But always keep in mind they're just people trying to earn a living. They often go about it in the wrong way, but if you know how to deal with them, it's gonna be pretty easy. Yes. Yes. How are you? I'm very good, how are you? Very fine. Italia. They will often ask you where you're from because Every nationality has different characteristics. So with Italians, you have to joke, Mediterranean country. Ah, uh, Italiano. Yes. Number uno. Where are you from? This is very important. I asked the question back, where are you from? Doubts, and this is in Italy everywhere, they generally want to lead the conversation, understand if you're afraid, submissive, because it's easier to manipulate a person that is submissive. Don't do that. Ask questions back. Try to keep control of the conversation. You guess. Menia. No. Luxor. 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 Ah, ah, I was you know, two months ago. Like pharaoh? You look like a pharaoh. Ah. Yes. <laughs> and you have the money of the pharaoh? Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. This is my best friend now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Mahmoud. Thank you very much, Mahmoud. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Have a nice, nice day. Cheers. Bye. Bye. You need something else in the market here to help you? Thank you very much. I'm just walking around for YouTube. But if oh, I need sure, something, sure. if you guys need anything, uh, ask for the Pharaoh Mahmoud here in the corner. And that's it. We ended up making a new friend instead of having bad energies. Of course, some thoughts deserve to be completely ignored. But others, if you can be kind, doesn't hurt. It can be a bit overwhelming at times. And you can use as a point of reference the minarets of the mosque in case you get lost. Just look up and you'll get an idea of where you are. Don't be afraid to stroll in the small alleys because that's where often you find the best deals. Good morning. What's up, man? This is your shop? Yeah. What you sell here? I sell for beads, stone, silver. This is everything made in Egypt? Yeah, yeah. And I got milk factory because I can make handmade one by one. You make you handmade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is also my store. This is my shop. Good job. And yeah, everything you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You or your wife? Yeah. Okay, let's okay. check inside. Okay, check inside. So these are, these are to pray, yes? Yeah, yeah. This is for Muslim. Yeah, yeah. It's like Rosario in Italy, Rosario, to count yeah, the number yeah. of the prayers. Yeah, yeah. This is also stone. If you need gift for friend and the sons, they can make special for more honey mm -hmm. under the sun. These are essence? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And these are stone brass. Stone, right? yeah. And what is this? This is uh, for woman because you can put it for uh, powder, for eyes. This is your father? No, this is my boss. Your boss? Yeah. Okay. This is my job. All right. Thank you very much, and, man. Uh, I have boxes of Mother Pearl. You have boxes of Mother Pearl. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, Thank you. Gracias. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. My friend! What's up? What's happening? Oh, good morning. Very good, man. I make photo. Yes, we you do a film with you? Yes, you too. Uh, from where you are? Yes, you. Uh, Italia. Italiano, ciao. Yes, Tutto yes. bueno? Molto bueno. Si. Tutto this is your shop? Si, this is my store. I got Galabella. Uh, so what is Galabella? People don't know about Galabella. No, we're just telling him now. This is a dress. Okay. Uh, the rich people wear like this in our Egypt. Okay? Let me assure you here inside. So guys, watch my videos in Malawi or Southern Egypt. You will see everybody's wearing Galabella, especially on the countryside. Si. Si, Galabella, questo. That's nice dress. This is the typical, typical Egyptian, Egyptian dress. dress. And this and this with colors is for Nubia, yes? Uh, this is Nubian, yes. And I have something more embroidery like this one, like this one for ladies, Galabella. Mm -hmm. And this one color. Oh, these for the ladies are very nice. They kind of remind you Indians also dress. So for example, if you want to be home right. and just relax and chill, right. this is very comfortable. Right. And the Galabay here, the good thing about the Galabay here is pure cotton made in Egypt. Egyptian cotton. It's one of the best yes, in the world. Yes, one of the world. Right, you're right. And I have short ones, three quarter lengths in Galabay also. Mm -hmm. If someone need to wear always in the beach cover or something, Ah, this one they use it, uh, the ladies in the beach as well. Right. Just right. to cover. Yeah, but like... mini different design. Okay. I have maleta, t-shirt. Ah, okay. I got a nice t-shirt, like 600 design upstairs, if you want to look. 600 design? 600 design. And the price is fixed here. 
It's different than the other store to bargain, to hang it for the price. We don't like this kind of business. So we, we care about the quality and our name here. Also, I yes. have a Christmas ornament. The second store, Mustafa too. Here. Okay, let's go. Come on. What and is then guys? we get bands too, mm -hmm. ladies. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. So, sorry, this is for what? This is for the tree, Christmas tree. And this is 80 Egyptian pounds. So that's uh, like five dollars. Five dollars almost. Five dollars. That's a wholesale. I told you I have a fixed price here. Okay. And then I have that with Egypt. It has a permit ah, yes. and palm tree. And this is the permit and it says Egypt here. And then holder candle at you right. And this one, if you go to this, you will go to the link. Ah, to your, you have a web page. Yeah, web page in uh, the glass only. And these also are uh, Christmas tree yeah, decorations, yes? Yeah, that's tree, Christmas, and this is a new one, Egyptian. And, and this is? That's for... Uh, steering. Like steering, right. Steering, steering that's drinks. That's one, steering. <laughs> that's genial. Look at this. That's with 40 Egyptian pounds. You want to steer your gin tonic? Yeah, this with mini design. Yeah. And this, then I have a camel stool, standing camel. This is beautiful also. Oh, that's nice. And these also are very good uh, gift ideas. Yeah, like, that's right. And then 40 pounds means like $2 Exactly. Now. So it's, it's nothing. They look good and they're not too expensive. Thank you, sir. And, and they are unique. You see what I'm saying? So some of the shops have this kind of statues or pyramids. They're looking all the same. They come from China. You look for a place like that's this. Egyptian. And you, flower. You can find something quality, cheap. It's a perfect gift idea. Ah, something like this one too. This is just water glass, yes? Right, it's nice. And, then and you, sorry, this is for what? These are just for perfume bottles, just like a decoration. But you can, we put the perfume inside. But so you sell the perfume as well? No, I'm out of the... Because uh, the perfume in Egypt here, you could buy from French, Italy, any Europe country. But if you're into stones, corals, rocks, right next to the shop we've just seen, there is this little boutique full of wonders. This is a stone in Agat, old Agat. You see? But working, in, but working in Egypt. This is a pharaonic, this is a different name, the pharaonic. This is the baboon that you will see everywhere. This is a, a cartouche. This is a different cartouche. Checking it. This is an abanos. This is a... Ramba, this is different about material. Material. And also you can in write silver. you can write the name if yes, someone wants. Right, right name in here. Same this this is name. This is name Pharaon. This is an Opel. Mm. This is in fresh. This is this is a different light. The dark light and not dark light. Ah, it changes with the light. Yes, yes. You have it in here. Change. It changes with oh, the light. Yes. In here, light. It's a different shade. Yes, different shade. This is different, this is for three. This is a horse and the This is two face. One face and one face. This is different. Different work face. This is different. Scarpe, different. We're gonna call this one the corner of quality because right next to Mr. Farid, uh, there is this little stall and unlike many of the others, it does have some unique pieces. Some are, some are Chinese, but some are kind of unique. It looks better than the other. <laughs> Guys, we met here Mahmoud Fahmin, which is the owner of the place. How are you, Mr. Mahmoud? Welcome. Really like, it's a small gem. I like the place. And you have beautiful scrabbles here. That big scarabe in Ankh. Here, two cartouches. Now, Mr. Mahmoud uh, gonna show us a unique place, which is called the museum. He has more pieces right there for the top clients. Wow! Wow, man! Welcome. Incredible. Inside. Just look at this. Look at this canopy jar. It feels so real. There's so much stuff. I'm looking everywhere. You can spend hours in every corner, like, these boxes here are hidden, and this turtle. It's like a museum, really a museum. That in cartouche, mm -hmm. that in all ceramic, here inside, all mm -hmm. canop jar. <laughs> inside here, four sets. Anubis, here Horus. Yeah, all four sets. Here all handmade. 
honestly, I'm looking at some of the stuff and I'm like, is this real? Is this original? You, sorry, you do everything yourself. احنا بنكهنه عشان يبقى زي القديم يعني زي like the old one old, yeah. oh. it does look like the old like there still is some tissues around these are unique this is a mummy with a stone inside so it's like there's the sarcophagus the eye of Horus the scrabble but open على مالك على مالك بص جوه في ايه It's gold and sarcophagus yeah. inside. Uh, uh, uh. It did like a small tomb. Uh, here, inside uh, there is a mummy. Yeah. I hope you guys can see it. Uh, these are masterpieces. Mm. You can really get lost here. Now I'm gonna send all my clients here. It's so rare to find a shop like these guys. Most of the stuff outside, I know I said it a hundred times, but it's just Chinese stuff that it looks all the same. I have a shop in Shemeshik. Hopefully I'll come back here to, uh, to Cairo. I'm gonna make a big order and sell it there in Shemeshik as well, because it deserves. Now um, I, buy, I bought uh, for my daughter and us these Key of Life, the mummy, and this beautiful scrabble made of redstone. Hammer stone. Thank you very much, Mr. Mahmoud. Thank you very much, sir. Bye bye. I'll see you soon, inshallah. I'll see you soon, inshallah. Here again, many lamps. How are you? Sorry. Can I come in? Thank you. Now, Egypt is, no, no, no. Egypt is really known for works of bronze, nahas. And you will find many shops. And again, we find an incredible gem. Once again, unique pieces. Look at this beautiful modular glass. Look at the complexity and intricateness of these. Beautiful. Uh, one piece and one piece. So each it's piece is yeah. like piece, hand, hand by hand. Hand, hand the piece and the piece, yeah. And then I must buy it. The factory is here? Okay. I come with you? Yes, yes, yes. And here you feel the atmosphere suddenly changing. We're getting close to the part of Islamic Cairo that I've been reviewing in another video. Make sure to check it out. I'll put the link down in the description below. This is selling mezan. Scales. These type of scales are not used in Europe anymore, but they are, they are still used here. Yes, sir? Egyptian balance. Yes. This one. A lot of time. But they still use yeah, it yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. A lot When... of time, not, not recently. In a lot yes, of time, yes. in 180 years. This one. Like that one, to this sell one, the Egyptian, fruit. Egyptian, yeah, yeah. It's Egyptian. Egyptian balance. This in China. <laughs> and this one. This for gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold and the silver? Gold uh, and cobalt. Ah, cobalt. okay. Yeah, yeah. This one in original one. Egyptian, Egyptian old, really old. What's your name? I am Tarek. Very nice to meet you, Tarek. You are yeah. very kind. Yeah. From Egypt. Thank you very much, yeah. Tarek. Sharaf. Oh, nationality. Very nice. Italia. We suddenly are in an oasis of peace. You want a coffee? Come here. Some more stones and precious. Wow. Look how many. I mean, I'm not sure about quality and stuff, but the place is huge. You can't even see the wall. It's crazy, isn't it? The walls are totally covered. So much stuff. Thank you, man. Thank you.
This is the Calaon complex, and you'll find another video in the Hi. channel. Hello, Welcome guys. To Egypt. Thank you very Welcome. much. Can you say? Can you come, come, come? Come, come Egypt. Egypt. Zail food. If you want to take a break during your visit in Khan al-Khalili, I highly suggest you to visit Nagib Mahfouz Cafe. It has incredible oriental design. The drinks are wonderful. You can try typical drinks that are rare to find. And yes, you know why? Because it gets colder, because it's more air. And the bubbles. Look at the beautiful teapot. Fresh meats. Carcadet is delicious. One of the best spots in central Cairo. As we ended up paying uh, 100 Egyptian pounds, well, actually 90 Egyptian pounds, for a tea and hibiscus, like five euros, which is, you know, fair enough, considering nice service and great place, it could be even more expensive. So absolutely, if you're in the area, a must try. Tourists are generally afraid of coming into these smaller alleys but that's where often locals come and that's where you can get the best prices and the best quality. Much better than those... Uh... Well, you got it. You guys, you never stop to learn. These are fox legs. Apparently they're healthy and so they, they boil them and drink them. Fox legs, man. Unbelievable. <coughs> okay, I mean, I may be wrong. I'm not quite sure if those are fox legs. But let me know if you know. Fadrabash. <laughs> If you keep on uh, walking and going a bit far from the touristic area, you will find a market that is actually visited by locals and you also find some hegabs, dress, underwear, and so on and so forth. This is where really the locals come. I'm not sure how much interesting, f especially if you're looking for some kind of tissues or curtains, this is a perfect solution. Hello. Hello. I'm officially lost. <laughs> but sometimes you, you can't see the minarets of the mosque. And that's what really leads me, hello, when uh, I am in these small roads and alleys. Oh, they're making gold here. Yeah? They're probably Christians. I think this is a closed road. Who knows? Feels like Daedalus. Where shall we go? Let's go right. You gotta pop out somewhere. Shall I fit here? Oh. Ida, what? Yeah, what? Ida? Arisus. Arisus? Ah. Oh. Okay. You know what is the carcade or the lava or the. Arisus, I shall go by. Thank you very much. 
هو ده من غير سكر يعني عشان بابا ايه ماشي ماشي يا دكتور Let's try this out. He has the color of coke. It's kind of bitter. It has a bit of sense of licorice. But it's really unique, really unique. Seems we found a way out. The light. Yeah. Okay. If you love uh, smoking uh, hookahs or shishas, in Egypt you have uh, some of the best manufacturers in the world. And in this video, I'm going to show you Khalil Mamoun. He's right over there. This guy exports everywhere in the States, all around the world. He's probably the more famous hookah producers in the world. There you go, guys. This is Khalil Mamoun. They actually have more than one shop, but this is the original and the first one. I'm going to quickly show you inside. If you want a quality hookah, you have nowhere to look else. Here you'll find so many shishas, that's how we call the hookahs in Egypt, different types, different uh, price range, and the cool stuff, you often have the price written on top of uh, the shisha. For example, this one goes for 750 Egyptian pounds, which is like 40 euros. I want to see now they have, uh, what is it? Khalil, no, Mamouni, no, Khalil Mamouni tobacco. I never tried it before, I usually smoke fakir, but I'm gonna try one and see how it is. It's gonna give me strawberry and kiwi. What is it? The cost is 125 Egyptian pounds, like eight dollars. Let's try it out. And yep, if you need a shisha, come to Khalil Mamun. If you're in Khalil Khalil and you're angry, walk a little bit farther from Khalil Mamuni where we saw the hookahs and there is Fula. My mouth is already watering. This is one of the best uh, Ta'amiya and Oriental restaurants that you can find in Cairo. When you are in touristic areas, it's really hard to find quality restaurant. That's why I'm so glad to share this with you. Look at this cucumber, so hard to find anywhere. Hello. Mm, really crunchy and tasty. Falafel, a boom. And for all these, I paid like one dollar and a half, something like that. So good. You see quality from the little things. This cucumber, pickled cucumber, is delicious and crunchy. Different from the others. This pickled lemon are typical of um, Egyptian cuisine, but if they're not well prepared, they're too bitter. Let's try one. It's smooth and creamy. It's unbelievable. You won't even recognize it's a lemon if it wasn't for its acidity. For its acidity. Really nice. You good? How are you? The guy work here and he's really taking care of me. Maybe it's the first time not many foreigners come here. They get ripped off over there, so he's really polite and checking us out. Come try this place. I feel much better now. Time to continue. Thanks, Fola, for the energy. Here in Egypt, meat organs are really frequent. People love them. Check my video in Baga. So if you want to try the guy out, but next time, I already ate. You can spend hours, even days in Khan al Khalili, and I can't show you everything in one video, but I hope I was able to give you a general idea and some unique places where you can buy quality souvenirs. If you want to know more, contact us in the email down below. 
And if you want to discover more of uh, the Islamic Cairo, watch this video.